Welcome everyone, Adam DeWoo here as the recording of this Wednesday, October 12th, 2022. A little miniature waterfall right here on the little canal on Water Street in celebration of Florida. I am getting on my car. I'm going to go pick up my mom who is going to be tagging along this evening for a DVC stay at Saratoga Springs Resort Disney Vacation Club. I have a room, so I will be doing a tour. Also be meandering around the property and just showing what it's all about and then having a little staycation with my mother, which is always nice. She really, she enjoyed the ones I did last week. So I figured she'd probably enjoy this one as well. Join me. And once I pick her up, her as well. Shall you? Still have plenty of time. Normally check-in is until four, but I've had pretty good luck lately with some early check-in. So we'll see what happens. This also has to take into account for me driving over to my parents' place, which takes a little while too. So by the time I probably even get over to the Disney Springs area, which is where Saratoga is, it's on the other side of Lake Buena Vista. Kind of where the, oh, there goes the little bike moving there. It'll probably be probably closer to one by the time I even get, go pick her up and then get over there. But sometimes I'll let you do early check-in, even though technically it's at four. And good news, at 12.30 p.m., the room is already ready. I went ahead and did mobile check-in online. And even though 4 p.m. is when you're supposed to check in, 12.30 p.m. Staying and mom's already ready over there. Hello. Hey. We're staying here in an area called The Springs. It's like a, almost like a little lighthouse there. This is pretty close in proximity to like one of the pool areas, the bike rentals, places like that. There's a little chimney up top there. It's called The Springs. Pretty soon you're gonna be an expert at this whole resort DVC thing. You can, you can get used to it. This is the third one you've stayed at. So this, be, this will be the third one you've stayed at. And I go ahead and taking the elevator up. The artist, now we're gonna eat. We are gonna be eating later. I booked a reservation for the Turf Bar and Grill. Oh, okay. But they also have the artist palette, the Paddock Grill, and a place called Senses. But this is the one I booked a reservation for a little bit later. I think at like 6.50 tonight, so. I just realized I have no clue where I'm going. So we're gonna to go to a different level. They also have a community hall. You can check out DVDs, play video games. They have horsing around rentals, movies under the stars, a campfire, and high rock springs and paddock pool. Oh. And not a bad view. This just shows how close proximity to springs it is. Do you remember downtown Disney back in the day? Remember that terminology? So Disney Springs is pretty much what downtown Disney used to be that they just added to it. You can see the balloon over there kind of peeking through the trees, Cirque du Soleil, House of Blues. And there's an identical The Springs building right over there. So I guess most of the DVC stays are probably in the Springs wings. And I always like to start off every room tour by putting the little little lock on there. Kind of showcase what the ex entire room looks like. Mom's already out on the balcony getting a view of the of the overlook that's out there. So you got a little coat rack here if you wanted to like put your your coat and accessories on and you walk in. This is called the Deluxe Studio, I believe. Deluxe Studio and this is, you know, as a Wow, I think it's the first time I've ever stayed in one of these where there is a vacuum here. You have a mini fridge here. You have a coffee maker, a toaster, no Keurig, but you do have the 50th anniversary Joffrey's blend over here. Small sink, can opener, paper towels, microwave up here. Uh, let's see, that's not where the cups would be. Can't find, okay, some stuff down there. Ah, the cups are right there. It was a snake. It would have bit me. Decent size accommodations in here. 
as far as the facilities go. No tub, but there is a walk-in shower in this particular room anyway. And you got, there's the, the shower head up there and the soon to be erased from existence Disney H2O Plus items. Also, I didn't, I didn't know this all about a year ago, but this is for your swim shoot. So my mom and I, we're gonna go swimming a little bit later. We'll be utilizing that, stretching it over here and putting our swimsuits on. Got the H2O Plus there as well. A little makeup mirror here. And one thing that's really nice about this room is there is a ceiling fan up top, I'm trying to get it to turn on. Oh, there it goes. So there is a ceiling fan, which I know some of the resorts do not have ceiling fans. This one does have a ceiling fan. This is very horse themed. It's based on Saratoga, New York. And this is interesting. There's no door here across the closet. Got the drawers here, got a TV, got the remote. I got my DVC bag down here and stepping out. How's the view? Very nice, with a beautiful fountain over here. A little, little lagoon. Real tall fountain, what do you call it? Uh, like, a, like a geyser almost yeah. of some sort, right in the middle. Yeah. Kind of soothing. You can tell how long this place has been around because these trees were probably small when they planted them. And look how big they are now. Yeah, they've grown. I'm not sure. I know Old Key West sits next to this. I know that's one of the oldest resorts on property. To be honest, I probably should look up to see when this resort first opened. It probably has been here a few years. Usually you don't plan a tree that's already big. So usually you put a tree that's pretty small and then it grows to be huge. So this has been around for a while. Especially a little... this section here, you know, all the tall trees. Because look at that pine tree over there. Yeah. That's been around a while. Also, there's two seats. You got a seat here, you got a seat over here, and you got a place to put our coffee. That's over in the corner. This is a double bed. Plenty of outlets in here as well. So the other one we stayed at last week, there were well, we stayed at two different ones. One of them had two queens, but one of them had a queen and had a pull-out couch. This one does. Is that a pull-out couch? Yes, Bed. How does it pull out? Oh, you know what? It might be a. Uh, oh. What do they call these? The uh, the ones that are inside the. Oh yeah, this pulls down. But you bring it, sit on. We can have the couch to sit on during the day, and then during the day we got that, and then this comes down this way. That's what it is. This is a nice bathroom. So this pulls down. Like that. So this will be my bed. That'll be yours. This is a nice mattress too. Yeah. This will definitely sleep a lot more comfortable than the pull-out couch I was on last week. <laughs> the stables. <laughs> got the horses there in the stables. Got the hidden Mickey over on the side. It's really nice. Got lots of places to put your but this does not have a kitchen. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Oh, this, this is very nice. Got the microwave there. So we got our coffee. There's We got plenty of creamer. I know how you like your creamer. Yeah, I do. Okay, I just looked it up. This resort opened in 2004. It's probably had some remodels. So it has been here a while. So 2004, it's been 18 years, this resort. Let's see if we can check for the Gideons down here. Nope, no Gideons there. Yeah, there it is. There's the Gideons. So you got decent size here. We can put our phones over here. We can charge them in that, in that section. So 2004 is when this resort was built. This room was 15 points if you're keeping up with DVC point rentals for this time of year and this night. Now one thing we did, we stopped at the store on the way in and picked up a case of water, which kind of left a few of them in my car, but you had the one left over from last time and then bought another case of 24. So instead of buying a bunch of bottles of water, we just buy the bulk one and just bring a few up at a time when we need them and put them in there. I generally try to keep the average night points that I use at 15 a night. Currently I have 200 points a year. Now the way that works is that is good for the entire length of a contract. So not just 200 points for 
one year, but it, over, you know, 40 to 50 years based on what my home resorts. My home resort is not this one. My home resort is Riviera. I have 150 points there and then 50 points at Grand Floridian. But even though your home resort or the other two, you can book at any of the other ones. The only difference is the timing window. My home resorts, those two I mentioned, I can book 11 months out where something like this, I can only book seven months out. But thankfully, this is a pretty expansive property and there's plenty of room. So 15 points per night for these accommodations this time of the year as the recording. Plenty of bus transportation. Got Woody and Buzz there. Oh yeah, plenty of bus transportation coming through here. Yeah, if we had a group of four, we could get this one. Or the group of two. So if we rented one of these at some point during our stay, we'd probably just need the two-seater like this. And these are the prices. I did this before, maybe like a year ago. Pretty fun. Also, if we just wanted to have a regular bike, they have these little, little cruiser taxis here as well. And here's a general layout of the land. We are here. This is us. You can just see how expansive this whole process is. All those are tree houses you can stay in? Treehouse villas. That's a separate section. But yeah, there's tree houses here. Uh, I think that's over... Yeah, I guess that would be off side to here. Walk Walkway to the tree houses. There's the grandstands. There's the carriage house. We're going to walk up and show that. We're staying in the springs area. There's also the paddock, Congress Park, and the carousel. So this place is huge. Yeah, tomorrow we go see all these places in our buggies. We'll do the buggies tomorrow? Spoiler alert. In the morning. And then we also walk away to Disney Springs. We could go over there tomorrow too. Yep. And then you got a walkway to Old, so Old Key West is co-joined with Saratoga. And again, this is all, someone was yelling over there. This is all themed around horse racing and horses, you know, just like Saratoga, New York. So you got the horse here, you got the jockey on there, and then you got the performance hall over here, and then the carriage house right over here. And it just makes sense to be in front of the carriage house would be a carriage itself, a horse-drawn carriage. So you got the carriage here, and then you got the horse and some artwork in there with some of the different horses from some of the animated features. Reminisces, reminisces of Saratoga Lake. And even though my magic band is linked up to my room, went ahead and go, went into the guest services front to get a card to give to my mom so she can get in and out if she wants to kind of roll off on her own. And in all his glory, Maximus from Tangled right here. I think the last time I was here, they didn't have a lot of this in here. I think it's been remodeled a little bit. There's a store in here called The Artist Palette, which is like quick service stuff. They have some fruits, some veggies, some beverages, things like that. They got some snacks, some bakery items, some of those lemon burst cookies I like so much. They have the bakery items down here. Then they also have some quick service food up here. I think my mom's gonna grab a little bit of a snack. I might wait till a little bit later because I'm gonna eat quite a bit at the, at the restaurant. I don't know, maybe I'll get something from here too, but this is kind of the opposite, you know, Caesar salads and pizzas and things like that. Now I ended up getting a coffee here, a 50th anniversary coffee inside the artist palette. Mom got a little soda right there. We also heard that when we go over to the pool, we'll be able to get a, there's like a, a soda stand at the pool. So if mom wanted to refill for the next two hours, that was one of these little chips on the bottom of the, on the bottom of it. So let you know you get refills up to, up to two hours. Also inside the gift shop, they have a lot of DVC stuff. Some of the stuff I haven't even seen before, specifically to, you know, Destin for Saratoga Springs itself. But then there's also some new DVC items that I kind of haven't seen at some of the other stores. Some kind of, you know, hooded sweatshirts and things like that. Is not only Saratoga Springs proper, but also Disney Vacation Club, which is kind of nice that they're, they're starting to present more merchandise, you know, for those who, who enjoy the DVC stays, but I'm kind of tempted to get something, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything, anything today, but good to know it's here. And you ended up ordering, you got a pepperoni pizza, Mom? Yes, I'm hungry. You're gonna get a little little snack before the meal later on? Before the feast tonight. Before the feast. <laughs> Number 84, what happens, this is called a little, this is a tracker, you put it on the table, and they know where we're sitting, and they'll bring the pizza over to you. Now this place was called the Artist Palette, and it's very kind of artsy through here, even with the, the light, the unique uh, lights and artwork through here. And the unveiling, that's a pretty decent sized personal pan. And guess what? What's that? I'm gonna put it down. You're gonna put all of it? <laughs> you gonna eat all of it? I think so. <laughs> have a piece, you can have a piece if you want to. I, think I don't know if pizza goes real good with coffee. 
I'm saving my appetite for dinner, but you go with it. Very hot. You're gonna okay. Like it. Blowing it off. It's hot. <laughs> Very hot. You're so hungry, you're not even gonna wait for it to cool down. I'm afraid I'm gonna burn my tongue, and I don't want to have to deal with a burned tongue all night. All right, you talked me into it. You talked me into it. I'm gonna have a slice. Don't know if a slice of pizza. It is hot. Yeah, oh my goodness. It is very hot. They, okay, just, they just cooked it. I'm gonna let it cool down right there. All right, now heading out. Gonna walk over to the pool, also known as High Rock Spring up here. There's a waterfall, the pool down below, and here's some of the resort activity. So at 8 p.m. they do. So what is today? Today is Thursday? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, so they're doing Emperor's New Groove tonight right here. They also do Mickey tie-dye, they do Derby Splash, they do a campfire, things like that. So they do quite a bit, quite a bit of different things. The, the bike rentals are open until 6.30 and then everything else is open until 10 if you wanted to rent a DVD and things like that. Lots of poolside activities and whatnot as well with the pool being right down there. And another You Are Here. So basically where we're staying at the Springs, really the closest pool is gonna be this one. And there are a lot of different pools over at the different areas. So you got a pool here over at the paddock. I think there's another couple pools over here, but the closest one, the one we're gonna be frequenting is this one here next to the Springs, next to the carriage house. All right, you ready for the pool? Yes, I'm ready. It's pool time. <laughs> got the Disney Transport Cinderella bus here, the castle, the carriage. And then another one approaching over here. This one goes over to the front of Disney Springs. Obviously, if we were to walk over to Disney Springs, we wouldn't really need to take the take the bus. Lots of buses. I got the logo and everything up there as well. What would this be called? It's not a wa it's not like a water tower, but just the design of the building, I guess. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. I guess it's just the design of the side of the building. Gonna go head back to the room now, change into our bathing suits. I, want, I definitely wanna check and see if they have a DVD player. I might get a DVD later. And this just shows the proximity to the balloon over at Disney Springs. That's a big stable over there, that orange building? Yeah. All right, just check, there is no DVD player in the room. It must be one of those things, if you need one, you can request one and they'll come install one for you. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I would have rented a DVD as a novelty. I mean, I have Disney Plus, I can watch stuff on my phone and probably project it up onto the TV, but yeah, sometimes they'll have DVD players and I believe this one does too, but I think you have to probably go to the front desk and request one and they come, come plug it in for you. But it's not that big of a deal. All right, in the pool now, there is a really triumphant looking waterfall right here. Interactive water feature, they call it. I'm reading the signage off to the side over there. I'm noticing not only do they have the pool, but they also have a hot tub. It appears that the hot tub is under, I don't know if it's under maintenance, not under construction, because I don't have anything like blocking it off, but it just says that the pool is closed. The hot tub is closed for now. Maybe, maybe a little bit later it'll be open, but right now, cannot get in the hot tub. I love all the, the water features that are through here. And they kind of like do some games, they do some trivia and whatnot while, while in the pool. Pretty nice pool. I've never been in this pool before. I did stay here a while back, but I did not go in the pool. But today, I'm in the pool. Mom and I are enjoying some pool time. As she stays, she's a fish. As she just, she wants to go right to the pool. So I'm, doing, I'm getting a little more pool, pool, more pool time than I normally get in at some of my resort sites. Thanks to her. And we have found an active hot tub. There was two over here in the pool area. So the other one over there was close. This says no diving, obviously. We have the hot tub here. And also the magic band is waterproof, just to confirm. You enjoying, you're enjoying the bubbles? <laughs> and this is considerably warmer than the pool and the bubbles are fully on and operation. Let the bubbles do their job. Warmth and bubbles combined makes for a very enjoyable experience. What did you say last time? Your gear, your weary bones. This is good for my weary bones. All my aches and pains. Wet. Lots of water. This hat is not shielding myself from the water elements. 
but it kind of feels good. The water splashing on my big brimmed hat as I sit underneath the water effects of the water fountain here at Saratoga Springs Resort. And I am washing the rays clean. This hat, this team is clear. I don't know, just I'm still thinking about the postseason. <laughs> Big brimmed hat. Woo! And as some more buses pull into the station over there, I'm noticing over here at this window, not only is there many with a rubber ducky there, take a look up here, five-legged Mary, Mary Blair goat from the contemporary mural. This must be like some sort of like a scavenger hunt that they do. Heading back to the room now, I'm looking at all these birds up here. All those crows look like something out of the something out of the Hitchcock. The Hitchcock. Be proud. Look at all those. Now we're making our way over for our dinner reservation, but noticing that there is basketball courts back here, and I saw something that you could just go up to the, the center over there and sign out basketball. So if you wanted to play, say you wanted to shoot some hoops, or you wanted to play some tennis over here, we've got some tennis courts. And then over here in this building is a DVC preview center, and on the other side of the preview center, as we're gonna be walking over to the restaurant we have the resi for, they are from six to seven, they do some s'mores, some little campfire s'more cooking as well, which is kind of pretty neat, but we don't want to spoil our appetite because we're gonna go get some food for dinner. We are now heading over to the Turf Club Bar and Grill, which we made a reservation for. And it's like, yeah, you saw some of the, the clothing the jockeys wear and walking up down this little, little carpet down below here. There's a couple of jockeys over there. This says they're weighing in back in 1929. This picture was taken. The Turf Club. Never been in here before. You got the mobile menu and then you've also got the the regular menu. And it's quite an assortment of things. French onion soup, chopped salad for the appetizer, artichokes. Frito Misto, New York Cider Braised Mussels, little cheese and meats, prime rib for the entree, salmon, filet mignon, carrots, carrot filled. Oh, this is interesting. Does that go over to Springs? Disney Springs? There's a golf course over there, obviously. And this has a very Caddyshack type of vibe. A place you could Definitely see Rodney Dangerfield walking in, talking about a hat going with a free bowl of soup. And we're sat pretty quickly after getting here and getting the notification. Frito Misto, which I didn't really know what that was, but looking at it, it has quite an assortment of good things, including calamari, shrimp, broccolini, green beans, pepperoncini served with marinara sauce. That's an appetizer. French onion soup looks pretty good too. And I like artichokes also. See anything on there that's like popping out at you, Mama? For the entrees? I don't eat anything. I don't know about artichokes. I've never had them before. We could try some. Because I don't like them. I'll eat them. There's probably not a whole lot just being an appetizer, so I don't think I'll eat them, definitely. We get some artichokes. I think I might get this Frito Misto stuff. They have brought out the bread and the butter here, and we ordered a couple appetizers. Got French onion soup, artichokes, and the Frito Misto coming in. And Mom got some sweet tea. The French onion soup has arrived. What do you think that is? What is this? Is that? An onion, I think. You think that's actually an onion? I have no idea. I don't know. I mean, this is French onion soup, but I'm not sure what this is that's floating around in here. Uh, brioche bread. So the same bread. Oh, with, okay. Uh, cheese on top. That's oh, bread. Yep. 
right. And what is it? What did we order here? This is the grilled artichoke. This is the grilled artichoke. Okay. So it has uh, a grilled artichoke and a um, kind of like a crispy artichoke on top. That smells good. And then it has a tahini sauce. Okay. Nice. So that is really good. And then it has on top of that some spices. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. And this is our Frito Miso. It is tempura style. Oh, I love that. So they, it's very light. All right. All right excellent. You thank you so much. Welcome. All right. This looks all so good. All right. Help yourself, Mama. You're still what, checking. What is this? This is tempura. It's like a seafood. And then this is broccoli. Pick it with your hand or This is shrimp right here. This is shrimp, I think. Yeah, pick it up with your hand. Go all in. Now this is really a fancy looking plate full of pork chops here. It's the biggest pork chop Look I've at ever this seen. thing. <laughs> now she did describe everything that was on there and to be honest. I don't even remember everything that she stated about this being on this, but that is a decent size piece of pork chop here. And it's some kind of beans right there. It's like oh, navy over here? Bean. Looks like some kind of beans. It does kind of look like navy beans. <laughs> I think it is. And you went with like an au gratin potatoes and... A, uh, uh, sirloin steak. Sirloin? I, no. What was it? I don't remember what it was. You went the filet mignon. Yeah. Yeah, that's filet mignon. Yeah. yeah, and then broccoli and carrots. Yeah, and this is just basically like they're they're. This is a new item that they just started putting on the menu. It's like an au gratin potato. It's like mashed potatoes with whatever on top of it. Yeah. There you go. A little filet mignon. Brought some more biscuits, and I went with a pork chop. A lot of food. That's a little later in the evening, so this isn't open. But this is Disney's Lake Buena Vista currently closed at the at the moment but this has this is run by or operated by Arnold Palmer Golf Management right over in here take a look in there you can see some of the stuff on the greens all hidden Mickey and from here one of the boats going by kind of looking across the parking lot across Lake Buena Vista at the balloon and Disney Springs is over there check a look there's the nightlife of Disney Springs with the boats going by. I don't want to call them friendship boats. They are there. Well, maybe they might be friendship boats, but the boats going by across Lake Buena Vista. So you basically have House of Blues over on this end, and then you got former Virgin Megastore, AMC Theaters, all that over there. You got Planet Hollywood over here, followed by the other sphere, the balloon, the boats going by, the boat house off in the distance as well. Disney Springs and Correlation, right next to where we're staying. At Saratoga Springs, there's a lot of springs. Now a little earlier we were talking to a cast member and asked what they use these vans for. And he was saying he had worked out at the parks for over 30 years and he's been with DVC since 91 when it started. He was saying basically these will take you around to different properties and show you some of the rooms. If you want to look at certain rooms, if you're inquiring about Disney Vacation Club and he also said sometimes they use these as like magic moments if they just see someone walking around the resort or waiting at the bus stop sometimes they'll just pick up random guests and say hey where are you headed and they say Magic Kingdom and they'll just give them a magic moment and let them ride in, in the van there's there's passenger seats in the back of these vans as well and here is the pool lit up at night pool still open till 10 so about 10 minutes till 8 right now this is the back, well, I guess this would be the back side of water. With the waterfall flowing down there. Oh, the arcade sign over there is lit up too. I forgot to check out the arcade. The weather is so nice out here. It's like one of those, I don't say rare times, but one of those times in Florida, the weather is actually really nice. And one thing I really like about this pool, they also turned off the yeah. fountains over here, even though the pool's still open. A little like, almost look like Chip and Dale type of, they're not, but it looks like kind of how Chip and Dale like kind of spitting out right here. But I like how this is almost like a beach like, beach style, where it just starts off shallow and then makes its way down, goes into one foot to, you know, one foot three meters and then over across.
Now I see the neon for the arcade, but where is the arcade? I see the signage, win, play, or show arcade. Maybe it's just theming. I don't really know. It's right there, this door is closed off. All these doors are closed off. Maybe it's just a maybe it's just a theming thing. It's around the side over here. I'll walk over there and look. I was just informed that there really is an arcade. Just gotta enter in from a different area. Also, this is the hot tub that's not operational, but we use the other one. So we're told to go around this way and you can get into the arcade. Okay, found the arcade. The arcade has another little smaller signage over here, right underneath uh, where this mat is. But going in the arcade, yeah, there's only a few people in there. There's maybe like two or three people total in there, but a lot of arcade games, a lot of the newer versions of arcade. But I did find two kind of retro, retro games as well. They were kind of like combo retro games, but at least there's some sort of rep retro represented inside the win place or show arcade. And inside the community room, take a look at all the movies here. So here's all the DVDs. You basically just choose what you want, whether it be G, PG, PG, 13, R, or they also have board games. And then you just tell them which one it is out of the book here and they will get your DVD for you. And I also asked them, they said that you have to call the front desk and it takes about 30 minutes for them to bring it and install the DVD player. So we're not, we're not gonna do that because I do have Disney Plus, but this is kind of like a pretty neat novelty to see all the different ones that they have in here. So if you're staying for a while, if you're taking for, staying for definitely a series of days, it's kind of worth calling the front desk, getting the DVD player and kind of making a, making a thing out of it. Check out the pictures over here. We got Walt over here doing his little Mickey animations and whatnot. Now here are some very unique kind of squiggly looking plants, a little, almost like a corkscrew up type plants here. I don't think they grow that way. They're probably designed to be done that way, like fashioned into that design. Maybe they're just trimmed that way. They're probably just trimmed that way. I don't think there's any wire in there. Oh, there's yeah, there maybe wire. So you think they're just trimmed that way? You remember Cypress Gardens? Cypress Gardens, yeah. They have all the kinds of stuff, sculpture. They sculpture those like that. And they okay. can make all kinds of designs out of trees and stuff. That's pretty neat. And that's gonna do it for today from Saratoga Springs. Had an enjoyable day, a lot of pool time, a lot of hot tub time, a lot of food time, a lot of walking around time. It was fun. Time to turn in, go back to the room. See you in the next video, the vlog is over. I'm also noticing on the lights here in the hallways, take a look, there's horses there, with the riders on top of them as well. Right here on the, on the lights in the hallway. Perfect timing because I think it is now starting to rain under the shroud of nightfall.